a lot of neighborhood communities had a stronger sense of community because they were more likely to stay in touch and communicate with each other. And they were less influenced by the media in any type of way. Influencing has grown. And again, it has its good parts and its bad parts, and it really depends on the influencer, who that person is, what they represent, what they push, that's what it depends on. And it's the same thing with other media content. It all depends on what's being pushed, on whether it's positive or negative, what type of content it is, what is their worldview. And the thing about today is, you know, it's pretty much been shown that you know popular people media influencers and popular content does affect how many people think and affect their decisions and so it's a huge game changer when content can be shown 24 hours a day and if everything starts to be technology centered where people think they're only supposed to get you know their significant other off a dating app or online and that being on you know a technology device is more important than interacting with people and having their kids you know be on a technology device more often than them going out to play you know the community could lose its sense of community and not be as strong so i think it's mainly that you know people just have to be responsible with technology and not over abuse it which is easier said than done but influencing became a game changer when you know people started to have access to you know, people they never met 24 hours a day whenever they wanted to hear from them. And part of being responsible with, you know, this technology is, you know, not being too dependent on it. Like, the last time I heard, you know, there was a some, some type of outage with Facebook, or it was one of the apps had an outage, and there were people actually panicking over that outage that's when I say like if you're panicking over an app outage you might be depending on it a little too much there's a lot of variables to this online thing people running businesses online people coaching people online people making music online giving speeches online there's a lot of variables to it which is why it's so huge it's just, you know, I think it's just about trying your best to be responsible with it and not lean on it too much.